Okay. Is I'm going to call the meeting to order. Is I'm going to do a voice roll call. Is um, so. Is Ed present? Is uh, Noah present? Is Ken present? Is uh, Mark present? And I am here. We have Steve and Patty is also in the background. Is um, <clears throat> now one thing that we never did discuss is do we still open with the Pledge of Allegiance? Is um, I don't know if you guys have uh, flags around your house, but um, is it something that we do every meeting? Is uh, what's your pleasure? Uh, I say yes. 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 Yeah. All right. Please stand with me and salute the flag. No. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, the United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic, republic for, which for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty justice, justice for all. For all. Thank you, everybody. I'm not on there, right? You're not visible, no. Is, um, is, is, uh, we have uh, first item is the approval of the meeting minutes of March 10th. Is uh, We were all at that meeting. Do I have a motion to accept? So moved. Second. A motion. Is, um, all right, I'll go through the roll call again. Is um, Ed? Here, present. Is um, Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. Mark? Yes. And I will vote yes. So it's five nothing, Patty. Is Ed motion? Uh, no. yeah. Is um, is no public comment? That's another thing that we're going to have to work around. Is um, for tonight we're going to uh, skip the public comments is what we will do is we'll put out notices and have people email questions ahead of time is uh we we're trying to figure out a way that we could do this in real time but we don't quite have that technology yet so is uh we will skip skip the first public comment we have no public hearing uh we will be doing no reports of the committees or department reports is um, we'll go right down through is the first uh, item up really is uh, town manager's report. People in the town office collecting customer service, Patty's one of them every day. Um, and then we have Lori and Lynn who are alternating days, but we have been receiving uh, a good flow of taxes coming in, a lot of them coming in the mail and a lot of them uh, in our box. And of course, we always get a large amount um, from our uh, escrow accounts, uh, direct deposit. So that's been going well. Um, the uh, fire station is uh, moving forward. I keep waiting for the uh, roof rafters to go up, but the wind has been a little bad and weather hasn't been very cooperative, but they seem to be right on target. The inside walls are, are up. Uh, they just poured the flooring concrete floor for last week for the um, office area and living quarters. Uh, and they're we're getting ready to lay down the radiant heat uh, in the apparatus space. So they seem to be making good progress, uh, and um, which works out. Hope, I'm glad that's happening. Um, we have a sports field. Uh, we scheduled the company uh, to come in the Memorial Field and to work on our uh, Baseball fields and other areas, um, they'll be in tomorrow. They, they are a professional group uh, that the different uh, users of that field have wanted to see happen. So we're splitting the cost this year, um, which is uh, helpful. Um, otherwise, we, the contract for the union is in. I uh, need a couple more signatures or I think one more. I think. Tom and Mark have signed it. Anybody wants to come in and get their signature, I can return those uh, to the union. 
Um, retro pay has been calculated, at least to Vargas and Lisa Hustis have gone through all that. And that will go out this week. So we can get that behind us, which is really quite nice. It's been over a year. Um, otherwise, we are operating with a skeleton crew. Police and fire are doing a great job. They're full, uh, full force forward. Um, Public Works is coming back uh, next week. I'm not sure they know that yet, but they'll be back on a full 40 hour schedule starting Monday. And um, so we, we're trying to get done as much as we can and continue to act somewhat normal and get through this event. So that's where we are. You should have all got financial reports for the end of March. If you have any questions on that, uh, give Lisa Vargas uh, a yell easier by email or myself and we should be able to answer. Everything seems to be on target. Some areas a little overexpended, but uh, we seem to be in pretty good shape that way. Um, Patty can update you on, on the town meeting or the referendum vote. Uh, it'll be July 14th. That's where the governor has said it. Um, logistics have yet to be decided because of the coronavirus, but I'm sure we'll work it out and get it done. So that's all I have. Any questions? Um, Steve, could you uh, fill them in also? Is there questions for about the Hubbard Road and about the uh, summer rec program? Oh, yes. Uh, I canceled the summer rec program. We had put it on hold uh, because of this pandemic and also because we hadn't, uh, we hadn't started the uh, search process at the time. We have had 38 applicants for that position. Uh, the committee has picked six people to interview. Um, we're going to be doing it by Zoom, uh, hopefully by the end of the month, and then we'll hopefully uh, pick a candidate that uh, uh, we'll bring forward uh, to the board. And, and I haven't, I won't meet them in the first round. I'll meet them in the second round. So, uh, but we had, we canceled uh, that program for the summer, which is unfortunate because I know a lot of kids and parents depend on it but we just can't have it open with this pandemic going on. Um, if we can get something going halfway through the summer and, and it's safe, we'll try and do something. But right now we aren't. Uh, Hubbard Road Bridge, the state has scheduled that to be um, deck completely refinished. They are starting at June 1st, which is good. We don't like doing it during the fall. And they should have it, the whole thing blocked off and done in a shorter period of time because they can do the whole deck. So there will be um, detours you'll have to look for along Swamp Road and Ridland Road will be some of them. Uh, so keep your eyes open for the big orange signs. Mom um, actually saw them covered up today, but Hubbard Road Bridge. Uh, so paving, uh, pay, we got one paving uh, bid in. Um, it's, uh, I'd rather have them break it down a little bit differently. They gave me totals of uh, tonnage for each, uh, for all the roads. I really need to have it broken down by per road. So, uh, we want to do that and put it out to bid again. Who, who bid it? Uh, Libby Scott. Pike, Pike had called and asked questions. And yeah, we yeah, okay. No, they did a good job last year. You stay, better we stay with them anyway. They got to take care of us. Yeah, they, they do a good job for us. They just. Yeah. Need not to take on as much work so they can get it done before the snow flies. Right, right. <laughs> yes. Um, temperature gets lower. But uh, they've done real good work for us. I'm, I'm very happy with what they've done. Um, and they've been easy to work with. So I'll give Terry Oliver a call, who's their estimator, and see if he Terry can. Terry Oliver worked for them? Who? Terry Oliver, you said? Terry. Terry uh, Oliver. Yes. Uh, yes. He, he, worked for, he works for Libby Scott now? He work, he's been working for him the last two or three years. He was road commissioner in Wells. Where in Wells? Retired. He was a road commissioner in Wells. Yep. Maybe he retired as road commissioner and went to work for them for yeah, bigger money. So um, hopefully um, the contract and bid documents said we needed it done by the middle of September. I'm going to hold them to that. Um, uh, right now it's what they gave me for a total cost exceeds what we have but i think robert told me that they included the full length of uh long swamp which i didn't intend to do that uh, we're only doing one bad section so um we'll we'll work it out uh, as soon as i get a chance to talk to terry so that's where we are thank you steve yep thank you
Um, select communications. The only real communication I've gotten is one from Comcast saying that they were going to keep their uh, cartoon network off the premium channel for the time being. So that's good news for everybody in town, I know, because Comcast does us so well. Um, the accounts payable is um, Steve had mentioned that we need people to come in. Is we need people to come in for the uh, the payroll warrants and the account payable warrants to sign. Is we need some more signatures. Is I'm going to go through the three I have. Um, I will make a motion to pay the bills with the condition of and being inspected by the majority of the selectmen, because I know that you know, the other three of you have not had a chance to look at them yet. So is we have a payroll warrant, 2040, from April 2nd, 2020, for the amount of $56,378.34. We have an account payable warrant, 2041, from April 4th, uh, April 9th, 2020, for the amount of $278,216.09. And we have a payroll warrant, 2041, for April 9th, 2020, for the amount of $52,638.62. And I will make a motion that we uh, pay these on the condition of the other selectmen coming in and reviewing and signing off on them. I'll second your motion. Second? Second. Is Ed seconded that. Is, um, I will go down through the roll call. Um, Ed? Yes. Is Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. Is Mark? Yes. And myself, yes. Five zero, Patty. I'll, I'll stop by tomorrow and take a look at those. Right. I'll also be in in the morning. Thank okay. you, guys. That will do it. Um, is uh, under new business is uh, the Spirit of America Awards. Is uh, Steve, you want to speak to that? Yeah, this is a, uh, we the third year uh, we did this. The first year, the American Legion Post received it, and last year, Alan and Murphy received it. Uh, we're not going to decide tonight, but you need to keep think of somebody that you would like. To, or group that you would like to uh, have do this. Um, sometimes they, the people who are getting the town, dedicated town report are also the Spirit of America winners. It's an option, but if you have anybody in mind. The Legion, Tony Sincata, or Ronnie Vigil, or something like that. No, we did, we did, we did the Legion in general the first year. Oh, we did? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. We have, a, we have some time to talk about it. Yeah. So there's something we know. Uh, we'll, I'll put it on the agenda for the next meeting, um, and we can talk more at length on that. Okay. All right. All right. Is uh, the the next next is we have the town of Berwick smoking and tobacco use policy. Yeah, this um, is. Uh, I can address this if you'd like, or you go ahead. Yeah, go right ahead, Steve. I was going to ask you to. This is an existing policy. Um, we've had issues with uh, people smoking on the properties in areas that are somewhat outside our area, but parking lots at the memorial field and things like that. And some of the uh, patrons who use the field with the kids and stuff wanted us to be able to post signs to have no smoking on any property that's owned by the town. So we I uh, edited that, and, and that's what it addresses. Any questions of Steve? Steve, how does that apply to the parking lot across from the town hall? It includes that as well. Yeah. Thank any, you. Town, any town property. No, no questions. All right. and, uh, do we have a motion to accept it as uh, amended? I'll, I'll motion. We I'll have second. a motion to accept by uh, Mark. Is this, Ed, did you second it? I did. Ed seconded it. Is, um, I'll go through the roll again. Is Ed? Yes. Ken? Yes. Is Noah? Yes. Mark? Yes. And myself, yes. 
Five zero, Patty. Thank you. And then we have personal use of town vehicles policy. Steve, if you could address that one for us, please. That's an existing policy that we had, uh, which addresses uh, public works, police, fire, and how they use vehicles and how, if it's some of it's used for personal use, we add it to their uh, IRS report or W-2 form. We did some changes on this. We added the code enforcement officer because that's something new for us where we actually have our own vehicle and that person lives in town. She uses it and takes it back and forth from home because sometimes she leaves right from her house to different sites. Um, so uh, that's the only real change, but she will also be charged a certain amount uh, and reported to the IRS for uh, use. They, they are not uh, supposed to use it outside uh, for personal use. That's restricted, uh, especially when they leave town. So that's the really any, only change to that. Any questions of Steve? No. House cleaning. No. Um, do we have a motion? So moved. Motion. Is, uh, we'll, let Ed, we'll, let, we'll let Ed make that motion and uh, Mark can second it. Is, um, is go through the roll. Is Ed? Yes. Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. Mark? Yes. And myself? Yes. Five zero, Patty. Thank you. Can I have a request to Steve? Um, is is um we have uh is one other ad addition here is uh patty would like us to make an official change of the election from june 9th to july 14th as uh, per the governor's order is um is just a simple you know just to make it is uh official is uh <clears throat> do i have a motion Almost. so moved all right, we have a motion by Mark, a second by Ed. Is, um, is, they'll go through the roll call, Ed? Yes. Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. Mark? Yes. And myself, yes, 5-0, Patty. Um, is St Steve, uh, Mark has a question of you. A request, Steve. Can you What's hear me? Question? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, Steve, I was um, been thinking about this, and we talk about you know putting the elevator in for ADA compliance and all that stuff. But yes. I would like to maybe this year we could get the sidewalks paved and a handicap uh, pocket spot painted out front. If you go out there now, it's it's, it's really not handicap accessible because the hot tops all uneven. Really, it's a mess. Guys yep. can set up a handicap ramp and just have let me start paving. Yep. We look at. I, we, we have had the whole area around the town office looked at by Alpha One and, and made recommendations for changes because we are not ADA compliant. And we can, we can certainly address that and come up with a plan. But all, if we start doing that, then we're going to have to do the entryway into the town office, which is also uh, not ADA compliant anymore. Oh, well, let's do that too. I mean, that, that's what I'm talking about is we do them both. Okay, I, I can can't get have prices. It. We, we can't, it's got to be, we don't have the elevator in, but we just got to have it accessible and done right. So yeah. that's something that should be done. Then worry about the elevator next year. Let me, let me, um, well, we probably have to wait anyway on the elevator. Uh, Robert, and, oh, not Robert, but uh, James and I are going to be looking for some um, grant money for that. But um, I will uh, address that with Alpha One. They have their own architect for tell us how we need to do it and um, get the plans drawn up and get a cost. I'm sure I won't cost what we have. So but it needs to be addressed. You're right. Thank you. So, all right, let's see. Moving on is um, we have one quick claim deed. Is um, This is for 448 Portland Road in Berwick, Maine. It is map R71 lot. 008005. Um, this is a uh, uh, quick claim deed, I believe, that had been uh, paid off with the uh, through the uh, payments 
made with the financial department. Yes, it's, they paid their they paid their note. They paid so, the note, so it's just, just a matter part, of us, you know, putting it back into their hand. So, as, uh, do I have a motion to accept the municipal quick claim deed? No motion. Second. All right, we have a motion by Mark, second by Ed. As I'll go through the roll call. Ed? Yes. Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. Mark? Yes. And myself, yes. At five zero. Um, we have no abatements of supplements. There's no second public comment, no executive session. Other business, non-agenda items. Um, I just want to address you know, the whole COVID-19 thing. And uh, you know, the, nobody knows what's going on, really, and how this is going to play out. I know that Steve and Lisa Vargas and Lisa Hustis and, and Patty have been you know, trying to figure out what the town needs to do to get us through this. It's been a real struggle for some of us. Um, is where it's a work in progress is we don't have a lot of answers unfortunately and for the public out there listening and, and hearing this is i wish i could give you more information but we don't have it yet a lot of it we're waiting for information to come down through the um, federal and state governments is we're trying to uh, make sure that things are done in the proper way. We looked at the budget process is the way, unfortunately, we voted on our budget just before this was all set up so that is we can't change that process as is. If the budget passes as is, is that doesn't necessarily mean that we need to expend all the money in that budget right away. There are some things in there that can be put off and we can hold on to that money to see what happens. As, as Patty and Steve said, our, our uh, tax revenue has been coming in pretty steady. I don't expect to see any problem this time around. Come September and October, it may be a different story. As, um, and one of the things I really want to stress is I don't want to foreclose on anybody's house and I don't want to have anybody lose their homes because of this and we're going to do everything that we can to prevent that is whether that is you know some kind of forgiveness in the future we don't know is as I said we're still waiting for a lot of uh, uh, information from the state and federal government and a lot of this is going to be playing out as far as who is getting money from the government who's be able to make those payments. So I don't know if you have anything else you want to add to that, Steve. Um, I just like to thank um, all of the employees, police and fire are doing a great job and they're on this, on the beat uh, all full, full 40 hours a week. And then some, um, they've done a great job. A lot of departments been operating. Everybody has adjusted to different schedules uh, and done a great job. The staff in the town office, especially the three, uh, you know, Patty and Lisa Vargas and Lisa Houston have done an outstanding job in keeping things moving forward and putting up with the town manager. So um, I commend, we have good staff and I want to make sure they get recognized for that. And Steve and, and police and fire have every, every resource that they need. They're not short on anything. Same with the town, other town employees. Um, there's, there's fire departments struggling on the masks and, and PPE uh -huh. stuff, and they've got stuff in order. I heard from Chief Plant tonight that uh, there's a 90-day wait on uh, the masks. So we're facing everything, same thing that everybody else is facing. Sure. Just, okay. There's not enough supplies. We weren't prepared for this. Um, but people are stepping up with making masks and, and making sure they get them. It doesn't protect them like the N95s, but something's better than nothing something's yeah, better than point. nothing so and people people on town what i've seen um are all following the rules and, and keeping their distances and uh it's uh it's been good and i see i saw assessing out today doing stuff in their car by themselves and they're working remotely so we're functioning pretty well considering what we're up against but but staff has done an outstanding job all the way around 
Steve. Yes. Um, I, I, what I, I'm thinking that we kind of have to be the the the, um, the leader. He is in college. I don't want to see. I don't want to see that. Don't you know, see, I don't. Wanna, we need to be looking ahead in a positive manner. Dwell on, dwell on um, all the bad crap that's going. Quicker we move out of here. The quicker we, the quicker we move out of here. The quicker we get. The you know what I mean, guys? Guys. Yeah. You <laughs> Great, and that's it. You know, it's it's a it's going to be a, a town wide effort. You know, and that's it. You know, I, I know that there are other groups in town that are reaching out. I know the library's doing their part. They're reaching out you know, to some of the, the elderly people that don't have as many people to look after them. So, you know, there are other groups in town that are, are really working with us. So I think the method is true. We'll all get through this. Yeah, if uh, you know, I don't know that, but if there's elderly people that you look in on, all I need is their address, name and phone number. And I, when I'm buzzing around town or somewhere, I can drop in and see them. So that's, an issue, let me know. Yeah, I will, for sure. It, the town has stepped up, and uh, and in every from what I have seen, it's a lot of good people in the community trying to help. So, we'll all right, to, all right. Is um one motion to make? Motion to adjourn. <laughs> all those in favor. Oh, I don't Bye. want to turn. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Have a good Thank evening. You. Have a good night. See you at the next one. Yeah. Take care. <laughs>